Caution lights out. 30 laps. Ready to go off of turn number four. Dallas and Sylvia Calabro and Tessier. Ryan Vaness Jr. Richie Helger Jr. Josh Parsons, Jacob Burns, Brendan LaBelle, Corey Martin to your top 10. Green flag is out. The legends are underway. Off the second corner they come and Dowless sets the pace down into turn number three. <coughs> Dowless maintains the pace across the start finish line. He'll lead at lap number one with Sylvia right in his rear view mirror. Calabro escapes the cluster and finds himself in third with Hamilton falling back on the outside. It's Burns who's even with Helger for the fifth position. Dallas still leads at lap number two into the second corner. Burns working that outside lane, trying to get up towards the top of the field as they roll down the back straightaway. Dylan Calabro, a great run for him early on, sitting third just ahead of Mason Tessier. Bottleneck down to the inside. Here comes Parsons to the inside of Helger. They roll down as a turn number one, and Parsons gets the run. Trouble on the front stretch, one car around, and we are slowed up. With three laps completed is the 14 of Leo Rossi going around. As they start to wind it up in the middle of the corner, up on the throttle, and this one is gonna come back. Not a good start and a lazy green by Kyle Souza, and there's the caution. Now, if you're wondering, for those of you, so that's why we do it that way. Field is set, we'll try this one more time. Three laps up on the board. We're 10% of the way through. Off the corner they come. This time it's a good start. Dowless and Sylvia raced out it to turn number one. Three wide for third as they come off of turn number two. Yeah, Burns will escape victorious in that little battle. He's now even with Sylvia for the second position. Dowless takes a look in the rear, sees a whole lot of machines coming his way with Burns sliding in, taking the second spot away from Sylvia. Double wide are Helger and Tessier into three and four. Parsons in there as well. Off the corner they come in a battle for the lead off the corner. Dallas slides up. Here comes Ro Rodney uh, Rowdy down on the inside as Burns takes a look down low into three and four they go and we've got our first lead change of the event at lap number six. Top four nose to tail as they cross the start finish line. Burns, Dallas, Sylvia, Helger, now Parsons, and now Tessier, now LaBelle. It's the top seven with the closest battle being for fourth between Parsons and Helger. Parsons taking a deep dive into the inside. He'll find it, then backs out. Good block by Helger to keep the fourth position. Helger holding that bottom line, and while he does that, he takes a look to the inside of Chase Sylvia in the battle for third. They come off of turn number four. Helger on the bottom. Edge is out. Caution flag is out will leave the buzzers to the green flag. Eight laps on the board, back underway, legend style. And Burns got a great jump on the restart. He pulls out by about two car lengths on Dallas and Helger for who are even for the second position. Here comes Parsons, screaming out of the bunk bumper of Helger. He's got to slow up and settle in for the fourth position. Helger up to second now as he's got Josh Parsons glued to his rear bumper as Parsons works himself up into third. They roll down into three and four. Right now the battle is for third, fourth, and fifth. They come off the corner. Parsons edging out. And the four right there of just uh, Brendan LaBelle. Burns, though, separating himself from the rest of the field by six car lengths, although that's slowed up as they enter the fourth corner. We are 11 laps home. Burns continues to lead with Parsons and Helger now. Dueling for the second position. Parsons crosses over. Helger takes a peek to the inside. Slows up. It's not there. Parsons takes the bottom lane away. Here comes LaBelle. Hard on the inside with Dallas rounding out the top five. Dallas uh, trying to hang on to a top five down the back straightaway. He's got a little bit of breathing room between he and Mason Tessier with Dylan Calabro racing with Chase Sylvia off of turn number four. That is the 11 of Ryan Vaness Jr. up into the seventh spot. He's looking now to the back bumper of Mason Tessier down the back straightaway. Burns, though, leads by three car lengths on Josh Parsons, and Richie Helger currently rounds out the podium. LaBelle, though, chasing the Tiverton native for the third position. They're separated by one and a half car lengths. Trouble down the back straightaway. Contact between Sylvia and the 11 of Vanessa. Josh Parsons Vanessa. looking for a win number one in 2024. Helger and LaBelle are the second row. They've all won once. 
We're back underway. Down is a turn, one they go. Burns sets the pace with Parsons hanging tight on the outside. Helger, LaBelle, third and fourth. Dallas still sits fifth as they come off the corner, down to the stripe, and that's the way they cross. LaBelle on the outside, making some moves, edging out for fourth. Parsons all over the back bumper of Burns, now takes a peek to the inside, slows it up on the corner. They are even, and Josh Parsons becomes the third leader of this event. Parsons sets the pace through turns one and two and tries to get away, but here comes Burns taking another look down to the inside, squeezes in down low, off the corner they come, Parsons hanging on, Burns on the move down on the inside. They are wheel to wheel off the second corner, but Parsons able to shut the door, pull away for the moment, here comes Burns, heavy on the inside, they are stuck like glue, us cross the stripe, give it to Parsons by a hair with 18 laps on the board. Burns continues to push hard on the inside and they are even Steven down into turn number three. Door handle to door handle off the corner. Burns with a little bit of an advantage. He's back out front at lap number 19. Elger comfortably in third with the four of LaBelle in fourth. Dallas right now being chased by Tessier for the fifth position near the front. Burns holding off Parsons for the moment. Ten circuits to go in this 30-lap round one of the Everest Auto Parts Triple Crown. Josh trying to get back to the inside. Thought he had a run down the back straightaway, but had to back off and settle it in. Off of four. Parsons back down low. Parsons back to the lead at lap 21. Trouble off at turn four. The 116 as Sylvia goes around. And we Tight are racing. And I don't think Martin is being asked to fall to the rear due to the assist. So take everyone after Corey Martin and slide them up one. Field getting crossed up. We should get the clinch green flag when they come back around. We are 21. The 99 of Helger. The four of LaBelle. Those are your first two rows. We're back underway at a drag race down. It's at turn number one. Parsons on the inside. Burns up top. Give the advantage to Parsons into three. And here come LaBelle and Helger stuck like glue into the fourth corner. Helger got a little loose. LaBelle able to stick with them. Parsons over Le, uh, Burns rather now by a car length into the back stretch. So much for that no contact as Burns Got a run on the inside. Parsons tried to come down and hold that inside lane. They made some contact, but it didn't seem to slow either one of them up, and they continue to race side by side. That's called respect. A little bit of bumping and running is okay. Nothing dirty there. Off of turn four. Burns with a half a car length advantage. Down into three. Trouble down into th three and four. Rodney Dallas goes around. He tries to get that car running, but he can't, and we are back under yellow. Field is set, caution lights out. Looking for the green off of turn number four one more time. Jacob Burns on the point. Josh Parsons on the outside. There's a green flag, we're back underway. And as they roll down, it's at turn number one. It is the 13 of Burns with a half a car length. Parsons keeping tight on the outside. Helger trying to fill the hole down through three and four. But Burns able to maintain the lead as they cross the start finish line. Five laps left to go. Burns has half a car length now on Parsons. Helger in third. Side by side for the fifth position now between Tessier and Martinez. They are wheel to wheel off the fourth corner. Look at Parsons doing a landscape job slightly but can't overtake the 13 of Rowdy. Parsons with a crossover move down to the inside. Wheel to wheel down into turn number three. Burns settles in, tries it, can't get the run down low, settles it in as Parson tries to glue his car down to the bottom groove. And speaking of glue, Burns trying to patch his front to Parson's rear. Twin sticks are up. Two laps to go, Parsons will lead. Burns, Elger, LaBelle, Tessier, nose to tail, the top five in the back stretch. Burns slips up just a little bit through one and two. Elger dives out of the inside there. Gives Parsons some breathing room at the top of the field, but now the race is on for a second. Parsons and Burns, one and two, but Elger right there down on the inside. Down off the second corner for the final time. Burns up top, trying to hang on. Checkered flag is in the air. Josh Parsons will pick up the win. Second place will go to Burns with Helger. LaBelle and Tessier, your top five. Jacob Burns, Richie.
Jacob Burns coming over to give a congratulations as well. Nicholas Kohler, very happy owner down here. And Josh, congratulations. What a race out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were definitely the car to beat. We were on rails all night. We found speed right out of the box and ended up keeping up with it. So can't complain. I mean, it was good, hard, clean racing. We had a little bit of fun, a little bit of contact, but nothing major and definitely a lot of fun. It just shows, you know, short track racing is the best racing. Now, you and Jacob seem to get along real well. When you guys got together down in turn one, when you were try when he was trying to get underneath you, what was going through your mind? Oh, so you want to play it like that? I mean, I, we were just gonna. I mean, I knew it was gonna be all right, and I knew that it wasn't intentional. But you know, I had stuck my nose in before, and he had come down, so I figured he'd do the same and give the room. But I guess not. But hey, it's racing; it happens. How much fun was it from your side, from your vantage point? A lot of fun. That's uh, that's my favorite type of racing when we're just just. A couple guys up front and we're all battling hard and you know those cautions really play a role but you know if it's just us up front it's gonna be a battle till the end I know you got some people you want to thank because this car is a hot rod definitely I got to thank my mom and dad of course my auntie Pam uncle Bob triple G scaffold obviously Nicholas Kohler racing for getting this car bad fast uh, Jerry's general maintenance and Jerry Degasberry of course uh, Jay Parsons Trucking, I mean, Richie Helger, too, because, you know, he's a guy. Uh, Jay Parsons Trucking, G&G &G Silk Screening, all the friends and family that helped me get this car together and helped support me, show me the love that it takes for me to get out here every week. Congratulations. Round one of the ever said it was a lot of fun racing you like that, swapping the lead back and forth. Well, how was it from your vantage point? Oh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I just got a little bit loose at the end of the race, and Josh's car just stayed on point. I mean, it's always fun battling with Josh. We have the opportunity to. Uh, I'm looking forward to the playoffs with him. This car seemed to be real strong on the inside, a little struggle on the outside. How far off is it? Uh, not far off. It was probably about, like, 90%. Uh, just need a little bit more. I know you got some people you want to say thank you to. Uh, huge thanks to Nicholas Gola Racing. I mean, everywhere we go, we have a badass setup. So without him, it wouldn't be possible. Huge thanks to all my sponsors and Seacong's favorite for the show tonight. Great run for second place. And Richie, sitting there working your way through the field, some good battles. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a rough race. It, it felt slow, but uh, yeah, it was, that was a tough one. It's got to feel real good coming out of here with the third after what you call a tough one. Yeah, it was definitely good. Um, it was just many battles throughout the race side by side, and uh, that was a good race. I know you got some people you want to thank. Yeah, first I want to thank my mom, my dad, uh, Amy Arsenal, my papa, um, Helger South Coast Power Equipment, Donate Life, uh, Rough and Fenders Podcast, Richie Helger Racing, um, Go Motorsports, uh, Helger Bros Construction, um, Phil's Propane, Kyle, my brother, um, and Mikey Lafort, and everyone else. Congratulations, a great run sitting third here tonight. Down the wind.